Hello again everyone. Right, just a, another thought. Um, after showing you these this morning that I've done with some of this paper, uh, uh, it's, this is quite expensive and I, I found it really difficult to get hold of over here. So I thought, I wondered if it would work with um, this. It's, it's just from Poundland and it is doesn't say it's waxed paper this just says it's grease proof oh, a minute you can see grease proof and baking paper um, it, it, it doesn't really feel wet see it feels the same on both sides but I thought well if any of the UK ladies wanted to have a go and you can't get hold of this one you know most towns have got a, a pound land and they've had this in for months I don't know whether other baking pa baking powder uh, baking paper or grease proof paper would work but I still used um, just a smidgen of glue across it and that's the result I, di I didn't think it was going to work I mean I did because I didn't think the paper was waxy I did put a little bit more glue on and it has wrinkled up a bit but I don't mind that I don't that's all extra texture but it's worked absolutely fine so you know and, and that's well it's not see-through like the glassy one but that doesn't really matter and then I just did that one and I was going to nip on quickly to show you and then my phone pinged off with a message from my lovely friend Ginny over in Australia coming up with loads and loads of other ideas that she'd thought of for uh, doing these <sighs> so as I say I was just about to put my iron and ironing board away and I thought no I've got to try it now <laughs> stuff the housework I just blame Mr Doodle uh, no. tell Mr Doodle it's um, Ginny's fault <laughs> so I'm blaming you Ginny so I tried your nail varnish idea and I couldn't wait for it to dry I just dobbed little bits in um, you know I would say if you do try the nail varnish well anyway just you know be careful with the heat uh, I didn't put it on such a high setting but it was fine it didn't really smell or you know any worse than normal nail varnish does but I love that and I love that it's all well I, I did it really hard to make it spodge out I don't know it's picking it up properly there's bits of glitter glittery nail varnish and purples and pinks in that one oh well this was the first one I did actually this is the that one this is the wax paper and as you can see it's it's shinier and it's translucent where that one's not so um, but yeah they're brill <laughs> and then another of our suggestions was bits of um, I think you said bits of thread or something so I just got my big box and I put all sorts of bits of that looks like a squash spider in there but it isn't it's a bit of eyelash trim so I just used all pieces of my scrap fabrics so I, I mean at this stage I don't know whether they'll stop together I don't see why they shouldn't now that one is coming apart a little bit there but I've just put a little bit more glue on the edge there and I, I did think that if I use them for, I mean, I'm not, I, I've never done junk journals and the like. Um, I've done one of the little concertina, well, a couple of the little concertina style books, the one sheet ones. And I've recently made a tiny little book for a friend, for Geraldine over in Ireland. She put a video up yesterday, actually. And... I sent, sent her this little book and I was a bit nervous about sending it to her because I thought oh, it's the first one I've ever done it's one where you, you stitch the signatures in and it was a tiny little thing that I'd made um, using a Duff soapbox I'd seen a tutorial 
I can't remember who the lady was, but I saw a tutorial of her doing one using a little soapbox so it was tiny and then I put some uh, cut a few sheets of my jelly prints up to put in and I was really pleased with it I was going to keep it for myself with it being my first one I thought oh it's not good enough to send to anybody but it just happened to be the right size to fit in something else so um, that's gone off the track a bit hasn't it but yeah I did think that if I would get into doing the journals and that I would either stitch round the edge or put washi tape round the edge or something. There's always ways round things. And that was the other one that I did. So thank you very much Ginny for your ideas. Because I've got such a lot of this. Bits of walls and threads and well I think we all have as crafters you don't we don't tend to throw anything out, do we? <laughs> well, I don't, anyway. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, the, these bits, that purple in there, I don't know whether you can see that, they're actually, um, I think I've cut some flowers out. Um, it was a plastic tablecloth that my friend Jessie had, she'd sent me a parcel and she'd wrapped it all up in a, a plastic tablecloth which I thought was a good idea and obviously you don't throw the scraps away so that would melt nicely I think they would if I just used those on their own they probably wouldn't need any glue but it's not a big deal to put the glue in but I think they're going to be great and I've tried it out and you can write on it with black marker pen so, and even if you can't, it's just pretty, isn't it? I think that's be pretty inside a little book, junk journal, or whatever you like to call it. Ginny said, oh, what? That looks like a little fish look. Ginny said, what, you know, what would you use them for? But, um, Shannon Green, I think she's done, I don't... I know she's got a video up, I'm sure she's got a video up of doing them in a junk journal but I, c I don't think I've actually watched that one yet or if I have I've totally forgotten what, what it was like um, but if I don't get round to that I thought you could I don't know, use them to put it on cards or something or cut flowers up or you know I, I will never throw it away there's always something you can do with it <laughs> if you class them as disasters but I don't I we'll just sit and stroke them and admire their prettiness yes right on that note I'm going now to try and get a little bit of housework done and then I'm going to come back and show you some more things. So you might be really fed up with me today. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks again, Ginny, for your ideas. I can't remember now what else you suggested. I think you said pet hair, dog hair. Hmm, I may just give that one a miss. Mainly because it would mean stealing someone's pet to get their hair because we don't have any pets. But yeah so any more suggestions would be gratefully received i was going to shave some pencils some um wax crayons up but at this minute i can't bring myself to do that so that's wasting my crayons at the minute but i probably will do one day but stuff like this and the nail varnish i mean i always used to have my nails very very nice but I haven't used nail varnish for ages now so it's a good way of using it up right I'm talking twaddle so I will go thank you for watching and thanks again Ginny take care everyone see you in a while